Hey everybody, it's Craig Bechter here, and in this video, we're going to talk about some of the video struggles when it comes to the Sony a7 III and how to fix them. Let's get started. All right, so if you're coming from different camera systems that have a flip-out screen, like the Panasonic GH5 or the Canon 6D Mark II, then you're used to seeing yourself in front of the camera, especially if you're a vlogger or a YouTuber. Now, you can overcome this with the Sony a7 III if you use an external monitor, but when you hook up via HDMI, it disables the autofocus face detect feature by default. Now you can fix this, but you have to record externally. So you can't record internally to the Sony. So if you just have a monitor that doesn't record, then you're kind of stuck. But if you have something like the Atmos Ninja 5, you can record your video to the Atmos Ninja 5 and you can enable autofocus face detect. Now that's pretty important to some people. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in the menu system. All right, so you just go up to your menu and if you look at what looks like a suitcase and it's page three of seven, you'll see your HDMI settings at the bottom. If you just click on there, you can see we've got some grayed out options, but we can output our time code, our record control, control for HDMI, turn those to on. Now we wanna go back to the main menu again at the briefcase, and we wanna go up and change pages. So you go to the right and you can see here, 4K output select. Make sure that you go to HDMI only, and if it's 24p or 30p, you can see if you go to the memory card, that's what disables the auto face detect. So I just want to show you that as well. So we're going to go back to the features here, and I'll show you that it's enabled. So if you're not seeing that, it's because you're not recording externally. All right, so here's our focus modes. Continuous autofocus, priority set in autofocus single is autofocus, and in continuous, it's balanced emphasis. Focus area is set to wide. And then you've got set face priority in autofocus. If I click on that, you can see that it's enabled. That's set to on, face detect, frame, display. That's on. And you have your autofocus track sensitivity. I would suggest trying standard first or responsive because you want to avoid that sort of zooming in and out. So play with those two settings there. Now here's two other autofocus drive settings that you may want to play around with. So I have this set to responsive. Again, if you find it sort of zooming in and out on your face, you can try standard. And also you have three speeds here, slow, normal, and fast. So alternate between normal and fast until you find something that really works for you when you're in front of the camera. So those are the settings right there. All right, so yes, you need an external monitor recorder if you want to enable auto focus face detect. But you're probably already thinking about a monitor if you're a YouTuber or a vlogger for the Sony a7 III. So don't just get a monitor, make sure you get a monitor recorder like the Atmos Ninja 5. For links to all of the gear that I talked about in this video, I'll put them down below this video. A special shout out to Gerald Undone and his YouTube channel who pointed out this menu tweak to me in order to enable auto face detect in 4K. So make sure you check out Gerald's channel if you're not already a subscriber. I'll put a link below for that as well. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.